Hey there, here's another question I got recently. The question is this. I'm trying to project several slots on a round rod. I guess he means cylindrical. Anyway, I can't figure out how to do it, he says. I set up two planes. I draw arcs in two separate sketches. Then I convert to a 3D sketch, but I still can't extrude. Please help. Okay, let me show you an example. I'm going to begin with a circle. I'll just create a new sketch on the front plane. Let's drop it in about here. Let's exit the sketch. And let's extrude to create a cylindrical rod. We'll give it a distance of 200 millimeters. Accept. Now we need a support plane. Reference geometry, plane. I'm going to select the top plane as my reference. And let's offset it at 16 millimeters. OK, and let's create a sketch on our new plane. Take a normal two view. Let's place a couple slots here. Here's slot number one. And there's number two. Let's click OK. Now let's take an isometric view. From here, when I try to use the project curve command, I get an error message. Let's check it out. We'll select the face, the cylindrical face, and click OK. And here's our error. The sketch is not suitable to create the projected curve. It has more than one open or closed profiles. Let's cancel out. Let's use the split line tool. Sketch 2 is already pre-selected under selections. For the type of split, let's use projection. I'm going to select this face here and click Accept. From here, we need to create a 3D sketch. Let's go to the Sketch tab. Sketch, 3D Sketch. Now click Convert Entities. I'm going to select these two edges and these two as well. And let's click Accept. Now we've got a 3D sketch. Lastly, I'm going to create a direction vector. Let's create a new sketch on this face. Right click, New Sketch. Now let's activate the Line tool. And I'll drop my line about here. Just press Escape to exit the tool. In a situation like this, if the line angle is too big, like this, you're going to have an issue extruding because the extruded surface and the solid will self-intersect. Let me make the angle a little bit less. I'll just adjust the position of the line a little bit. And let's exit. Now activate the extruded boss command. Let's select our 3D sketch. Here we go. Select the vector. And let's enter a distance of, let's say, 5 millimeters, tab to register. Let's click OK. We're going to have another issue. Here it is, the rebuild error, unable to create because it would result in zero thickness geometry. So how do we solve this problem? What we can do is create two separate solids because SolidWorks can't merge these two solids. And let's click OK to accept the boss extrude as such. And now SolidWorks is able to build the model. Let's open up the extrude for editing. And let's activate the section for direction 2. Let's enter a value of maybe 0.5 millimeters. Tab and click OK. Oops, I forgot to check merge the results. Let's open up the feature again and check that option. Here we go, merge result. Click OK. And voila.